Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, um, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I like to go a little bit sober and a little bit solemn, and I like to call it crying in the chapel. Crying in the chapel. Now, in Genesis chapter 43, verse 30, Genesis chapter 43, verse 30, there's a story there, you know. I, I'm, I'm very, very fixated with Joseph, you know, because there are a lot of things that resonate um, personally also. I'm not a Joseph, I mean, hey, I'm not, you know, but uh, there are a lot of things that resonate with me and uh, his life and all those things, his dreams and the pursuit of his dreams and the pathways by which his, he got to his dreams and the reality of his dreams. Now, here's the principle of Genesis chapter 43, verse 30. The Bible says, you know, if you read his story very carefully, he has been through a very traumatic life. I mean, he has been through everything. He's been beaten. He's been stripped naked. He's been pushed into a pit. He's been sold as a slave. He, he, was, he was pushed to uh, serve in somebody's house. A woman attempted to rape him. And uh, when he did not budge and he did not oblige, uh, she, she raised a false testimony ab about him. And uh, from even some of the testimony about him is very interesting. The Bible said she, when she was reporting the incident to her husband, she said when uh, Joseph was making an attempt to uh, rape her, she screamed. I mean, she screamed. I mean, read the Bible very carefully. Uh, there were people living in the house, and none of them had her scream. And nobody could testify that they had her scream. Joseph had been through all these things. And some of the things he had been through were exceedingly traumatic. My goodness. Nobody must go through that. It's very painful. Rejection by your, by your, by your brethren. Hatred by, by your own uh, brethren or siblings. Medros intent by your siblings. I mean, they want to kill you and they want to do away with you. My goodness. I mean, and then sold as a slave. Uh, they, 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 your life was not precious in their eyes. They, they had to sell you as a slave. I mean, boy, and they even concocted a lie to tell your father that the, the guy had been through a lot of trauma. And you could see that, I mean, um, in all the things that even when he was in prison, he just kept saying, I should not be here. I should not be here. I'm here because of the wickedness of people. I'm here because of, 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 of a wrongdoing. And so you can see the, 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 the pain the distance, the pain of, of Joseph had traveled. His pain had traveled different, different, different levels. He'd been through different, different, different levels. And guess what? Then all of a sudden, you know, God by grace lifts him up. And God by grace sets him up on a very high pinnacle. A second to the biggest person or the biggest fish in town. And that is Pharaoh. He became second in command. And that was a very powerful thing. And the Bible says that those who caused him pain, those who caused the trauma, those who pulled him, get it, through the, 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 uh, the, the teeth of a chainsaw, I mean, and he's, they lacerated his whole body and his spirit and his soul with, with, with pain, get it, the, the, saw, the chainsaw of pain, those who dragged him, those who dragged him on the, on, on the uh, I mean, on the, on the stretching uh, board, or, or that, that is used for punishment. Those who, those who took him through that valley of pain, they appeared. And the Bible said something that when he saw them and he had spoken to them, he went somewhere else to cry. So I'm wondering, definitely there were no tears of joy. There were no tears of joy. There were tears of pain. There were tears of of remembrance. There were tears that I, these are the people who caused me all this pain. 
These are the people who uh, falsely accused me. These are the people who did me harm. And they, they told lies to my father. These are the people who stripped me of all my glory and stripped me naked and pushed me into a pit. These are the people who buried me and the tears just kept coming. But you know one of the things, somebody will quickly get up and say, no, no, don't cry, don't cry. I was raised in, 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 you know, in a family that they'll say the men don't cry. So, men are so, irritating. so you have to steal yourself. And when the tears are coming, you need to hold them. But here's, here's Joseph. And he's, he's, he's walked through some uh, very terrible times in his life. But here's a solution. Uh, sometimes you need to cry. Sometimes you need to be by yourself and then let the tears flow. Because sometimes the tears washes away the bitterness from the soul. Sometimes the tears cleanses the soul. Sometimes the, the tears gives vent to all the pent up emotions of bitterness that is in, in you because of the carelessness and the wickedness of people. Sometimes you need to sit by somewhere else and then let the tears just flow. And it's okay. It's okay to cry because the tears wash the soul. Oh, Jesus cried when he got to the tomb of Lazarus and it was fascinating. And for me, it is. Because you know what? Jesus, God, I mean God, God cried, no more ifu, nyami, or something. I mean, can you imagine? And it was so fascinating that the people writing it just gave it one whole verse, and Jesus wept. That's it. You get it? Hey, God cries. It's okay. God cries. It's okay. Sometimes the tears are okay. The tears will wash away the pain. The tears will wash away the frustration. The tears will wash away the anguish. The tears will wash away the trauma. So sometimes, get into the chapel alone, like Joseph, and cry it out, because it helps. Sometimes the tears wash the soul of the pain and the emotional stress that it has been through. I'm not saying, therefore, go and sit somewhere and then by yourself, put your finger into your eye, ma, 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 no. But I'm saying sometimes what is inside needs to be find an expression outside and sometimes the tears becomes what is ne needed to push what is inside which is bad which is bitter to push it out so get into the chapel start crying in the chapel see you later <laughs>